you talk about the nuances. Um, Roger Federer is better some days than other days. You know, you take the best at anything and they're better some days than other days. Sometimes they're the only ones that know. And they're able to say, mm, it's a little off my game today. Mm -hmm. How do you know if you are? What is it that tells you that? There are times when I'll be warming up, you know, getting ready to go on stage and I can feel that I might not be 100%. And it's rare, but I pray through it. You know, I just, I just tell God, look, I know that you gave me this voice. And however you want it to sound tonight, that's how it's going to sound. And uh, I really don't stress over it. You know, and most nights it gets better. But, you know, you as an individual, you know, and, and the guys around you know too. We, we've, been, we've been together long enough that we all can recognize that. But we, we pull together as a group stronger when we feel that. And we pull towards that individual that is, that is not having their best night. But it, very few people are going to notice that out in the audience. Uh, but, you know, that's a rule that I set early on, you know, and as a leader. And, and I'll be honest, like, I don't have to lead these guys. You know, they have a band leader, and, and, but they're all accountable. But one of the things I said, if there's ever a mistake made, there's only one unforgivable sin. That's if you sh clam up and go in a hole. I said, you're telling everybody else in this band that I'm better than y'all and I, I shouldn't have made that mistake. I said, you make a mistake, I'm gonna see you smile. Because that should be funny because it's basically an anomaly. You know, and so we have constantly, you know, bred goodness. You know, uh, I heard a producer say this one time, he says, he goes, I really like a a, group, a band that will give to the center. And I thought, is that just some hippie saying or something? No, I finally, I finally get it. You know, giving to the center means we're all going to give to what makes, to what keeps us together. And that, that is the center. That's wishing our, 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 our not just wishing, but um, for the good of the other. What's the word I'm looking for? It's not wishing, but, um, uh, hoping for the good of the other, if you will. I've seen you sick as a dog, you know, cold and flu symptoms. And I'm thinking there's no way this guy's going to perform tonight. And you get out there on the stage, it's like a transformation that you're just like a different person. You do the show, you're back on the bus, you're sick as a dog again. How does that happen? Matthew, I'll tell you something crazy. I've never missed a show in 27 years. Actually, since I was 15, but in my, since I've been a known artist, I've never missed the show. What drives that? There must have been times where you didn't want to do it, where you were sick, where you wanted to cancel for whatever reasons. What goes through your mind that prevents you from doing that? The love of it. And I can honestly say that I love what I do, you know, more than anything else. 